I made $15,125. This account was at $0, but I put on all these trades you see here yesterday and today. 15,100 all upfront in cash in US dollars that I got in premiums right now for having enough margin available to put on these trades. Today's video is all about selling puts. And if you don't know what that is, I would suggest searching a video on that, but I will give an explanation now. So here's how it works. First position you're going to see is on blink. And I chose the $37 strike with a December 31st expiry date. 20 contracts is what I'm selling. That's how many puts I'm selling. Remember, one contract equals 100 shares. The cost, aka the premium I collected, was $1.18 per contract multiplied by 20 contracts brings us to 2,368 US dollars that I collect in premium upfront for selling this contract. This means that if the stock blink, goes down to $37 per share or lower, I am forced to buy 20 times 100 because there's 20 contracts, 100 shares, 20 times 100, which would be 2000 shares of Blink at $37 per share. If Blink is not down to $37 and actually bounces up or it stays above that by December 31st, then I keep my premium no matter what, but I will not have to buy those shares. So remember, whenever you put on these puts, when you sell them instantly, you collect the income and the premium upfront right away. Now, if you're forced to buy, then you're going to need to buy. The catch here is you need to either have enough margin available to buy those shares, or you have to have that much in cash. I don't have any in cash. I have a relatively large portfolio, so I have a lot of margin available. Like you can see the buying power up here, 323,000. That's how much I have left in terms of what I can buy on margin because I have a large enough portfolio that they can use my Tesla shares as collateral and sell them if they need to, to cover the margin balance that I'm owing. So Blink is currently at about $45 per share. It's up 20% today. And I put this on as Blink was increasing. I personally am bullish on Blink. There's a lot of momentum pushing it up. I don't believe Blink will fall down to 37. Blink has a lot of high, a very high implied volatility because there's a lot of buying pressure going on. So you can earn more money for the premiums. I am, however, okay with owning Blink. I actually don't want to own Blink at $37 per share. I think that's very high, but I am confident that I don't see Blink falling to $37 per share within a week. If it does, then I am forced to buy. And if you do the math on 37 times 2000 shares, that works out to be roughly $70,000 US. I'm going to have to fork out to own those shares. And that would be a little bit of an inconvenience. I am bullish on the company, but I still think the valuation is kind of stretched. So the point is I put on this trade because I believe I will continue to see Blink increasing. If it goes down, I won't be so disheartened if I'm forced to buy these shares at $37 a share. I'll be a little bit dissatisfied because I don't want to own Blink at that high of a price. But if I do have to own it, I'll have to just wait long enough until I get back up and then I can sell for a profit. However, I still remain bullish on the company and I don't believe that it will fall that far. That's why I put the trade on. So here are two rules. If you're ever going to sell puts, number one, make sure you are bullish on the company. You think the stock will be increasing in the future. Number two, make sure you want to own the company. So you might want to choose a strike that you would love to own the company at. And we're going to go into an example of that. But the third thing bonus tip is make sure you have either the cash to buy that or the margin available. If you don't have the cash or the margin available, your brokerage probably won't let you put it put the trade on. But if it does let you put the trade on, then you're going to be getting charged a fee if you don't have the margin when you're forced to buy. I looked on my brokerage. If I don't have the margin available to buy those shares, if I need to, then I'm going to be charged a fee. Let's move into the next trade here. Neo, I put this on yesterday. So full, full disclosure, all of these trades I put on yesterday or today. So yesterday or today, if we combine total income, I made $15,125. $15,100 all upfront in cash in US dollars that I got in premiums right now for having enough margin available to put on these trades. However, I put on these trades with the thought process that all the strikes I chose and the dates I chose, I don't believe the stock will fall that low by that date. 
And if it does, I'm forced to buy. Boohoo, not the end of the world because I am okay with owning these companies. Neo strike price, $46 expiration, December 31st. 40 contracts, which means 4,000 shares worth that I will be forced to buy if NEO falls to 46 by next week. Reason why I put this trade on, NEO day is coming up in January. Lots of bullish momentum on NEO. I foresee NEO climbing into the coming days and weeks. And I just don't believe that we will see another big pullback uh, dropping to 46 or below. And if it does, boohoo, I'm forced to buy. So that's why it shows I'm negative, but check out the premiums. I collected $5,022 because it was $1.25 per contract multiplied by 40 contracts multiplied by 100 because it's per it's 100 shares per contract. That's how we get to 4,000. And let me know in the comments below if these videos are too basic for you or if they're too advanced for you because I'm kind of in the fence right now. I would love to explain everything. I could go over this very quickly and go through every position very quickly, but I feel like a lot of people don't understand selling puts and selling calls. It's very basic to understand buying calls and buying puts, but I feel like a lot of people don't understand buying, sorry, selling calls or selling puts. Leave in the comments below if you'd like to see more advanced stuff or more beginner stuff, or if this is great for you. Now, next up, Palantir. I am selling. 40 contracts of Palantir with a $25.50 strike. Because again, I'm bullish on Palantir. I believe Palantir will be increasing in the coming weeks. So this one has a December 31st expiration. So if Palantir is $25.50 or below in one week, then I'm forced to buy 4,000 shares at $25.50. I collected another $2,742 in premium. Again, this trade was put on yesterday. Square, 217 and 50 cents is the strike and that is that expiry is later on it's january 15th now i didn't record this but i made a lot of profit on square from previous trades i bought square in the 180s sold it in the 190s bought it again in like 178 sold it in the 200s then i bought more around the 190s to 200s and that's what you see now in my last video where my average cost base is $200 a share and all that will get sold at 220 a share because of the call I sold that is coming up. So what I'm doing here is I am selling puts because I wanna own Square. I love Square. It just increased faster than I thought so I'm forced to sell because I was selling a call. So here's my strategy on how I'm gonna get back into Square at an even cheaper price than I sold that in the previous times. 217 strike January 15th. If we see it there, I'm forced to buy five contracts, which is 500 shares. That works out to be well over $100,000. So if the stocks fall to the strike price or below by the expiration, I am forced to buy. Blink, we said it was about 70,000. Neo is about 160,000, 170,000. Palantir is about 100,000. Square is another 110,000. Now Tesla here will be another 55,000. This other Tesla one will be another 56,000. And this other one will be another 60,000. I would love to own more shares of Tesla. I made a lot of money with margin trading and would love to use that money to buy more shares of Tesla. I don't wanna buy at the current levels. So what am I doing? I am selling puts. One is expiring uh, December 31st. I put this on yesterday. It's a 550 strike and I collected $491 for this one contract. So if Tesla falls to 550 or below next Friday, then I'm forced to buy 100 shares. At 550, I would love that. So this is amazing to me. Well, I put this one trade on and I was like, you know what, I don't really think it's very likely at all that Tesla will actually fall to 550 next week. So because of that, I put on the 600 yesterday as well. So the 600 strike, this one I do believe will get exercised and I'll likely buy 100 shares at $600 a share. It's a little high for sure, but again, I, my cost basis is so low, like I said in previous videos, that I'm okay with buying these shares because I plan on selling calls for income on those 100 shares, which will earn me an extra $1,000 a week easily in income just from the 100 shares that I will be buying at $600 per share. If all of these get exercised, I will have to put out about 500 to $600,000 and that'll take up all of my margin. So I'll sell other positions to get rid of it. But right now with my thought process, I think it's extremely unlikely that all of these will get exercised. 
That's why I put these trades on because I'm bullish on the companies for various reasons. I could talk about all the catalysts and the reasons why I believe the stocks will go up in the near future, but that'll be for another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something here. And what I'm going to do is continue to share my portfolio updates. Again, I earned 15,000 upfront in one day, two days, and I got the premium instantly. Now we'll see how this unfolds and I'll let you know which of these I actually have to be buying because they get exercised. And I'll try to update you on ones that I did not have to get exercised. Or you can follow along and check out the stocks at the end of the month on the 31st. And if they're at any of these strike prices or below them, then you know that I was forced to buy. Again, thanks so much for watching. Comment down below what you'd like to see more of. Subscribe for more portfolio updates and subscribe for more videos on how to grow your wealth exponentially over the coming years. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.